she's got nobody else to rely on other than herself and you know just the the sheer good luck and the cubs instinct as they start becoming older just to be able to defend themselves so it's it's a good reason why it's um they tend to die a bit more however in this area they've got a very nice um um success i can say of reaching adulthood about maybe i would say maybe about 80 60 to 80 percent of them do make it into adulthood which is quite a good rate for for animals just making it past the first years of life which is normally the most critical one and the hardest one our hyena friend here on the other hand she seems not to have moved more than a few centimeters the whole day i wonder if she went out for too long last night and this is why she's so tired Maybe she even started walking around during the day and now she's exhausted again. Oh, hello! There's a tiny one to the left! To the right, sorry! Oh. Yay! Hello! Oh. Tiny, tiny little cub! Oh, thank you for coming out! You see, when you've got no expectations, that's when good things happen. We were here this whole morning waiting for this little one to come and reveal itself, but it is finally out here with us. Isn't this wonderful? Oh. Tiny little bear looking at us, almost. Hello. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't seen a tiny hyena cub in a very long time. I think it's just trying to wake up its mom. Look how it's trying to climb on top of its back. <laughs> I think I don't want to move around too much in case we give it a fright now that it's starting to get a bit brave and starting to come out. So if we sit tight, I'm sure it's going to come closer to the mother or to the face of the mother because he's pretty much on top of her right now. See how wary it still is. Judging by how dark it is, I would say maybe around two to three months old, not older than that. Lara, I agree with you. Isn't he or she the cutest? Such tiny little thing. I think it's still frightened but ev by everything he can smell and everything that's around and everything that moves and we're potentially just a bit wary of what we are. It is incredible how just by instinct this animals manage to survive. If the mother were to leave, it knows that the best or the safest place for it is just to stay inside of the den, where pretty much nothing can reach it. And the mother, I think, she's just way too comfortable in that spot. And I think maybe the, the little one is just actually trying to come out or trying to get her to move so it can suckle, but she's having none of it. She's way too sleepy. Look at that pretty face. I love those big ears. Oh, you look at all those teeth. You see the just even when they're very, very small, all their sets of teeth are, are already there. A lot quicker than some of the other animals. just update the guys that the den is actually active uh, update from the misikaya there's one month one slowly coming out uh, if you can give me five more minutes that'll be great thank you I think maybe no. Go back in. It is crazy. The last tracks we had of Shadow were not too far from here, and it's always interesting to see just how closely they can live to one another. So, all the different species of predators next to their little ones and just passing around. We've had lions walking around this area, so it just shows what a great nursery this is because they're all pretty much, or well, it is hiding in there and it's been safe despite all this 
very very potentially dangerous animals walking around and if they were to come across a hyena cub i'm sure lions and leopards would not be very tolerant of them they all fight for the same resources they are all they're all after the same thing so it's not um a cub of something else that they want to see around because then it means more competition for them in the future